Hi all. So the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance had a lot of obscure peripherals. One of these is the barcode reader from Barcode Titan Body Gun. It's actually one of two barcode readers. The other one is the Barcode Boy, but I chose the barcode reader because it was better documented online thanks to Shonumi. However, it's still um the documentation is still relatively poor and I wasn't quite sure how to reverse engineer the game. I know Shinomi made a hack which um transmits the data that the game boy colour receives. But in the end, I experimented, and this is what the barcode's meant to be like, and you meant to swipe it, but I, I wasn't sure how to implement the swiping, and instead, somehow using one of the serial port related hardware RAM, I was able to get it down to just if it detects white space while the button is pressed, it will be 255 or FF. And if it detects black space, it will be 00. zero. And because of that, there's just two states on or off. So I decided to set the bits one at a time. So for FF, you set the bit on for not not you set the bit off you repeat this eight times until you've covered all eight bits in the byte and Mewtwo's identifier here is 0x83 which corresponds to this the, the bit is on it's off it's off it's off it's off it's off now, because the barcode reader reads the barcode's face down, what you have to do is flip this, make sure everything's all the right way, and you have to put it in. And you have to hold down the button. And then you need a program on the Game Boy. And fortunately, we can just use Pokemon Arbitrary Code Execution to do it. So without further ado, let's hopefully get ourselves a Mewtwo. I say hopefully because it's not always perfect. Sometimes you press it down, but it... it it doesn't detect it as white or black in that sense. It this can be a read error. Maybe you haven't pressed it down hard enough. So I'm going to be, try and be extra careful, and hopefully we'll get a Mewtwo. And then and I'll do it again with Dragonite. And depending on how long this takes, I might. I might um, do it with Mew as well, although I haven't tested Mew yet. Dragonite and Mew to work, but Mew might not work because it's a little bit of a smudge there. It might just return not not. But anyway, so the way I have this set up is. You open the menu, you use WSM, and you have the OAM DMA hijacking set up to open up the serial port. I know um, there's a better way of doing this without breaking the sprites, but I like to break the sprites because it's convenient. Although, this is a proof of concept, so later, 
can probably optimise this or improve it. And another thing as well, each time I talk to this NPC, it's, it's just the bit logic, but it also brings up a blank text box. In the future, it could probably add to the text box to say this is the highest bit, this is the lower bit, and so forth. However, yeah, this is what I have at the moment. So, I'll repeat what I was showing earlier. I'll just have these little markers here so that you can tell what bit you're on with that being the highest bit. Yeah, that is the highest bit. And again, you have to place it in. And it has to align like this. And I'll show the first part of it. This is us to face down. You hold that down and then you press the A button. And you move it up and you repeat. Now I'm going to do the rest off screen because it's awkward to record and I don't want to potentially get the wrong readings. So, okay. Now, to be honest, I might get the wrong reading anyway because um, last time, yeah, like nerves and blunders and things led me to encounter a tentacruel instead of a Mewtwo. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, some of the bits were wrong. Um, Now, there we go. We scan Mewtwo. Now, I'm going to try the same with Dragonite. I expect this either be a good read or a bad read again. So, you might see Dragonite, or you might see another Pokemon, or you might see Missing No, or you might see a Glitch Trainer. Let's just see how this goes. Right, so I forgot to mention this, but after each battle, it just resets the map script back to what it was before, so you have to use WSM again, otherwise nothing will happen and the NPC is not going to do his glitch box, so let's, let's, let's start again, scan, 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 scan.
scan scan and voila we have Dragonite so that went well but let's just say um, it didn't go well so suppose yeah suppose I added an extra bit here suppose that bit was on so you could try on on rather I mean a bit that bit was off I got confused because white means the bits on so let's suppose all of them uh, off except the most significant bit so that will give us gold look instead so can try using WSM and then I can say white space so therefore on and now I can just do black space for everything else Yeah, go look. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. If you're curious about the code and and if you want to try this yourself, I'll of course link to the save file and add some more detail to what approach I used for in a programming sense. Thanks for watching.